dude, can you believe the nerve of my supervisor telling me that I have to do even more work? I mean, it's like, come on, man. I already got way too much on my plate to do, and now you want me to do this extra MTMs and flu shots? It's like, no way, man. This is me, okay? This is who I am. I am a pharmacist, and I know my stuff, and I'm already busy. I'm a rock star. I don't need any more work to do. Wow, that guy was really, really upset about something. Hi, we in pharmacy are really struggling today with anger, cynicism, feeling upset, feeling irate. Uh, you know, wh whatever word you want to use, we're probably struggling with it right now in pharmacy. And the reason that is, 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 is it really just kind of hit me. I was reading this fantastic book called uh, Mindset, right? And a lot of us are really suffering from a fixed mindset, right? And, and this sounds like really, you know, airy, whatever, but it, it's true. You know, a lot of us, we, we feel like we do a lot. We feel like we do more than we can. And we become really bad at, at just taking feedback, especially negative feedback from customers, from our bosses, from, from just from anybody, even our techs. And we also, we, it's very easy for us to just be like, you know what, this is who I am. You know, take it or leave it. I can't do any more than I already do. And, and we're just we're really suffering because of it. And the reason that is, is it, it, it's actually a, a, a psychological term, believe it or not. And it's called having a fixed mindset. Really uh, <laughs> original name there, right? But, but it's something that a lot of us have, right? When we face new challenges, new obstacles, it's really easy for us to write it off. It's really easy for us to say, dude, I'm already putting in way too much effort as it is, and now you want me to put in even more effort? Why? So you can add more work to my life? I don't think so. That was me. That is definitely the way I used to be. But the problem was, is we're gonna have more work to do. <laughs> we're gonna have more things to do. This is a really great uh, positive video. I'm here sitting here telling you well, what's wrong with us and we can't really, we have more work to do, but stick with me. We're gonna have more work to do. We're gonna have more responsibilities. We're, have more, we're just gonna have problems. Like the, the stuff's gonna rain on our parade each and every day. And if every time we're like, I can't do any more work, that's the limit I have. Well then, you know, your days at work are gonna suck. You know, you're not gonna have fun, you're not gonna enjoy yourself. What we, what I've been starting to do is working on what's called a growth mindset. I try not to use buzzwords, but it's called a growth mindset, right? So it's the opposite, where instead of having to look smart all the time, which is something I used to do and failed at a lot, actually, believe it or not, I tried to look smart a lot in the past, it didn't work. Uh, I'm switching over to going from the learning kind of aspect of things, being like, okay, you know, this is new. I might not know what the heck I'm doing. I might go into this bumbling or look like a moron, which is pretty much what I do anyways on a daily basis, but still being open to the learning process, still seeing new projects coming out, like in pharmacy, which we're always gonna have, and just being like, okay, this might be something that's gonna be a little challenging for me, but I'm open to it because A, I have to do it. I like having a job, so I gotta figure this out somehow. And B, if I'm just like, you know, fighting it the whole time, you know, like I said, it's not any fun, it's not enjoyable. So having a growth mindset, where you're pretty much the opposite of having a fixed mindset of having to look smart, avoiding challenges, like going up against barriers and giving up, taking the learning aspect of it and just going into it and being cool with the process will transform your career, trust me, it's changed mine. I used to be that growth, that fixed mindset where people couldn't tell me what to do and I used to be like a jerk, you know, and, and it's just not fun to work with people who are jerks, trust me. And and, and uh, you don't want to be that person if you are. And one of the, the key kind of discernments I learned of, of how we stopped doing that is just knowing that, you know, most of the time pharmacists are actually pretty cool and pretty open-minded about things. But there's little triggers that put us in fixed mindset, okay? And if you can start thinking about your times that, that get you in a fixed mindset, because there are times, like mine is if somebody challenges me, right? If somebody is like, uh, Jake, you know, you know, bald-headed, bearded guys are, you know, smell bad, and, and you know, maybe it's probably most likely true. But but right away, I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know I me. Mean, you don't know anything about me. You know, and I, and I go into that mindset where I gotta. Move my hand like this. But <laughs> we all have triggers that set us off, and now that I've been noticing I have that trigger, I will immediately go into it, and I'll be like, eh, okay, maybe you're right. Maybe I do smell a little bad. Maybe I need to work on it, and uh, it's most likely true. Uh, I hope you find some value from this. 
please make sure you like and follow this Facebook or YouTube page. Uh, I offer incredible, valuable insights for pharmacists and technicians. You might not think it is, but it's life-changing stuff that, that's really changed my life. Um, and also make sure, if you haven't already, sign up on my website, jakepeplo.com, and I have the four, five, four, the four communication mistakes that all pharmacists really make, and it really just, it, it, like, when you read it, you're like, okay, this makes sense, and you try it, you'd be like, okay, I was really going at it the wrong way, and it really transformed you. Make it a great day. Take care.